Hello everybody and welcome to Let's Play Alan Wake. Well, I intended to do some medieval videos today, but I came to a little point where I decided to give you guys a say, and therefore Alan Wake is now going to be the game I play instead. So, as we left off last time, we were on the run from the police. So, we are going to continue in that same vein and see what the hell was going on. There was that FBI agent, that, that FBI chap. Seemed to be a bit strange and try to shoot me for some reason. Uh, we can seem to go out this way, but uh, the blip is telling me to go. Hmm, I'll just experiment. Uh, experiment. I will just explore in this little tower thing to see if there's anything that I should be using. What is this? a bit of a crash down there. I think that's where the helicopter uh, blew up. And I can see some red lights there. Looks like a gas station or something. Anyway, I'll just quick look inside here and see what's going on. There's a bed and... Ah, a radio! Uh, this is James Mulligan Thornton. Come in. Over. Uh, Thornton here. Uh, James. Got both Wheeler and Rose in custody. <laughs> they just put up a fight. I'm just saying, I can't hear properly. Why didn't we say, what did you, come on! Sit down and give me that. Jane, Mulligan here, over. Uh, go ahead, Mulligan, over! Uh, we got Wheeler and Rose here. Wheeler's drunk or hopped up on something. Oh, God, Speaking just, of which, just people talking. Pretty distinctive whiff of Just police officers over. talking and. Uh, Whoa, downstairs. I don't have anything on that, Deputy Mulligan. Over. Deputy Mulligan! Anyway. Right. I imagine that the broadcast tower in the distance was part of the local radio station. Maine seemed like a decent guy. Perhaps he could give me directions to the coal mine. Ah. That guy, the old Biddy, the radio man that we met on the ferry. Unnatural shaking. shadows clung to the gate. The darkness that was after me was trying to stop me. Oh, I wouldn't get through without a fight. Destroy the gates. With a gun? I've got my guns. I haven't got anything. What can I use? I throw a barrel into it? Yeah, I have a barrel. Somehow I don't think that's going to work. I need to use something. <gasps> Light! Light will destroy the dark shadows. There was no power to the searchlight. Oh, how convenient. <laughs> Everything is against me in this damn game. Right. Ah, a generator! Ah, but the generator's broken. That'll be the next thing to go wrong, I suppose. Right, start it. Go. Now we have power, but look at this wire, it looks so dangerous with sparks flying out of it. There we go. The old generator conked out. I'd have to see if I could fix it and try again. <laughs> you know, when I said the generator was going to be broken, I was just joking, but it actually is broken. Oh, goody, goody, goody gosh. Kick it. <laughs> That'll fix everything, a kick. It too hurts. I'll just give it a kick! Oh. And voila! The gate is gone. Right. Oh no, 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 no! Oh, shoot! I thought I'd, I thought I'd just about stepped off the edge, but I hadn't. I'm safe. Right. And I'm also lost. I took my eye off the ball and ended up in a different location. Okay. We're back on course now. Reach the radio station. Come on, Alan, we gotta run, man. Whoa, 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 whoa! 
Oh, it's another one of those freaky gates. Let me see if I can find something to help get me past. Oh, I have a flashlight. My trusty old friend, the flashlight. Right. Okay, now let's see if we can burn the gate. Come on. Come on. There we go. There we go. Not quite as effective as a, bar a big searchlight, but... Uh, ooh, it took me a moment to recognize the flashbang grenades. They were an ideal weapon for my situation. Flashbang grenades. Have I had flashbangs before? I don't think so. Can I select the... RB to full effect. Right, I have flashbangs! I have a first searchlight, a torch... flashlight, sorry. So I am ready to go. Come on. Probably missed a whole bunch of manuscript pages. <laughs> My god, this is so open. But the blip is pointing me in this direction. So this is the way I shall go. Oh, we're getting that noise again. We're getting that noise again, folks. The increased wind! Oh! oh! Get me out of here! Get me the hell out of here, people. After I have a quick look for a manuscript page, I thought I saw something there, but I was mistaken. Must have been mistaken. Oh, I see a light. I see Haven! Safe haven! Run to the safe haven! Run to the safe haven! Dodge the things and you can't touch me now. You can't touch me. You can't touch me. Hello? Hello, I'm here. No? I didn't think so. And here's another call. You're on KBFFM with Pat Main. Pat Main? It's Milk Peabody, Pat. What's on your mind, Milk? Well, I live near the trailer park, Pat, and there's a big ruckus going on over there. Well, that's just up the road from me, too. Uh, what's going on, do you know? I don't know, but there's a bunch of police cars there, lots of sirens, a helicopter buzzing around, and I think I heard some gunshots. Oh, did you gunshots? really? Yes, sir, like from a pistol. So can you find out what's going on? Because it's just next door and they're popping off guns there. They're still shooting? No, it was maybe 10, 15 minutes ago. It sounds serious, Pat. I'm telling you, it don't sound like no party. <laughs> well, I, I'm certainly going to give the station a call, Milt. Okay. You'll hear it here as soon as I hear from them. Okay, thanks. Thanks for your concern, Milt. Thanks for your concern. Gunshots in the trailer park? I don't think. I think he's on drugs, really, personally. I think he's hearing things. And helicopters crashing down to Earth, I mean, what the hell is he talking about? Right, oh, I see a manuscript. Whoa, 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 whoa! Oh, no, 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 no! Come on, give me a break, people! Look out below! Oh! No, he's still, he's still alive?! Oh! Oh, he's a bit bigger than the other ones! Take this! He was the big daddy of them all. Right. <laughs> now I can read this in peace. Rose, touched by uh, the dark presence. Touched by the dark presence, Rose was lost in a dreamland where everything was drawn in black and gray crayons. The old lady had promised her that all her wishes would come true. She would be Alan Wake's muse. She was smiling so hard it hurt her face. She crushed a bottle full of sleeping pills into the coffee. Deep down inside, she was screaming in terror. Yes. Well, that's already happened. We know that much for sure. Because she looked like some kind of zombie freak. 
and she tried to poison us with those damn sleeping pills. So, there we have it. That's the end of this part. Join me again next time when we shall continue our jaunt towards the radio station.